there was a lot of interest shown in the uh, work of the ROC when I put the uh, video on last time. So I thought, I've got loads and loads and loads of ROC journals from the past. Uh, we got these on um, regular basis uh, every month. And they, they were full of um, aircraft that we were, <laughs> and there were thousands of them. And we were supposed to um, recognise all these. And there's some laddies who could, <laughs> every single one. So, what I'm proposing is, um, I thought, we need some funds for the uh, Peace Havens project. So, what I thought was, anyone who's going to send in a subscription, I'm going to send them three of these magazines. And they are very, very rare, actually. Um, if you go to the home page on, on the site, and go down to here where it says Peace Havens Project. Click on there, it's £10 for three, and that's dirt, 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 dirt cheap. <laughs> but I need a £5 for postage, so please click both of these um, because postage these days is horrendous. Um, and I will send you three copies of these three different copies and they, they really are a, a, a Cold War a reminder there's everything in here anything the Russians came up with they give us pictures of it straight away um, so we could identify it if they ever came buzzing over ours <laughs> there's plenty of little quizzes in as well for those who are interested in in aeroplanes but this this is a look back to the 1970s 1980s um, height of the Cold War there and some very interesting facts that um, you're probably unaware of somewhere on these things it says they are confidential and not to be spread about but <laughs> I think that's long gone now. Uh, oh, there's the Queen, God bless her. Um, we had our anniversary. She was our Commander-in-Chief. It was the Queen. So we did a special coloured one for that. But what you get is uh, three different it's just so I can cover the postage, <laughs> really. <laughs> or there'll be nothing left of your donation. But uh, there again, as a, if you're wanting to subscribe to Peace Havens, um, I'll give you the details on the back of the video. But I'll stick three of these in for you. And in fact, I'll autograph them if you want. <laughs> I'll probably devalue them. <laughs> but I have got loads of them going back to, to the 1970s and the, the development of the aircraft but there you go look you donate 10 pound to Peace Havens project which is going to a very good cause and I will send you three of these three different and uh, you've got some souvenirs quite rare souvenirs of the Cold War where we learned all about the Russians what aircraft, well the Soviets I should say what aircraft they were using uh, what our latest aircraft were because if they flew over we had to know what they were we knew about the um, the stealth aircraft long before anybody else our observers were uh, spotting them and going, they're not in the book. <laughs> anyway, please donate. Um, it would be much appreciated. Until this snow goes and I can get out again, you're not getting any metal detecting. <laughs> you take care now. Bye.
<laughs> we had some brilliant spies, you know. <laughs> Let's get on an airfield and take photogra close photographs of Russian fighters. <laughs> we call this the fitter. But it, it was a, a Sukhoi uh, Su-7 single-seat ground attack. <laughs> we had uh, pet names for them. Anyway, I ramble on. Remembering the old days. A history lesson. This was written in the 1970s, you know, the time of the, uh, well, the late 60s, 70s, when there was all this nuclear disarmament and stuff going on and everybody was scared stiff of getting blown up. <laughs> this is about three world wars because we never learn. World War One, World War Two, and World War Three, which is inevitable. Oh, laugh along with me. <laughs> so, I, I promise I will put some uh, detecting videos on very shortly when the weather improves, or you can have a look at some of my collection. Uh, it's up to you. But meanwhile, I'll leave you with this song. Um, <laughs> It's a bit heavy in places and it's got a full orchestra behind it, so... Uh, <laughs> oh, happy days. <laughs> oh, just one point. This video waves like this. Um, sorry about that. It's to stop, uh, you know, it's to maintain the copyright on it at the time. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> but anyway, just shut your eyes and listen to the song. <laughs> Soldiers in their khaki brown Bloody hell rains down And fair parts town Red is the mud where the wounded lay As their lifeblood ebbs away In their robes and robes they lie Old comrades cry Deadly shroud, black 
So you take care. See you later. Bye.